Hey everybody, Danielle here for the Meal Prep Artist channel. I hope you're all doing good. It is beautiful and sunny here, so of course that makes any day fun, right? I thought I haven't gone live in a long time, so I thought I would go ahead and update you on what I have been doing lately. Um, I've been trying to explore more ideas and mixing up food differently and finding new meals to make. So. Here's some of the stuff um, that I really like to use uh, that I always have in my cupboard right now. And I've been using them a lot in my uh, meals and you've probably seen them on some of the videos. This is a Skinny Girl, it's a buttermilk ranch dressing. There is other flavors of Skinny Girl out there as well. And it is fat free, it's sugar free, and it's really healthy. Um, it's a good ranch to use, especially if you want to mix it with like a hot sauce. It tastes really good when you mix it with any kind of like Tapatio or Frank's Red Hot. So we use it a lot with that and it is, it's pretty good. And it's a really uh, follows our health program. Yeah, I love this spice. Slap Yo Mama. And uh, I have been tagging them a lot and that they have actually um, said some cool things back. So that's always fun when you have somebody reply to you or leave a comment on your feed when you are using their products. So this stuff is great. It's a Cajun seasoning and I don't find it too spicy. It just gives it a good flavor with a little bit of spice, but not too much of a spice where the kids will still eat it. So. And then I have a whole lineup here that I have bought a pack of uh, Flavor God. So Flavor God is something new to me that I had just recently found out about. Um, so far, what I think about it is it's good. It's uh, very, uh, the, they don't add anything extra in it. So it's definitely healthy for your spice. Um, this one is a buttery cinnamon roll and I used it actually in my sweet potatoes that I made today. So um, I think it tastes amazing on my sweet potatoes. The other one that they have that I like to use a lot of is the taco. It's called Taco Tuesday. It is really good. Sometimes I feel like I have to use a little extra, but um, I think it's because I'm transferring to using something where there's not a lot of additives put into it. So this is definitely really good for uh, not using additives. The other one, obviously this one's already half gone, so we use it a lot. Garlic lovers, definitely we are garlic lovers. So this is really good and I have used it in some of my meals today uh, when I was cooking actually as one of part of my rub on my meat that I made today. And then this is a hot wings one. And I like to put this with the oil and mix it up with my hot wings before I cook them. So as they're still raw, I put a little oil in there and I throw um, some of the hot wings flavor got into it. It tastes so good when you cook your hot wings in the air fryer. Of all things, the air fryer, I'm telling you, it makes wings perfect in 20 minutes. And the last one that I have is called Everything. So this one is just basically all of your stuff in one that you like, um, kind of like a onions, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt, all that's thrown into here. It does have all the ingredients on the back, onions, garlic, sea salt, uh, chili peppers, powder, cumin. So it has everything on there and there's more on there but they always put all their ingredients of exactly what they use on there. So that's really nice that they do that. On Tuesdays, they do have special where you can buy whatever seasoning they have available that day for $2. It's called $2 Tuesday. So if you ever just wanna try them, I know a couple of you have messaged me about them. You just wanna try one of their products, uh, follow them and they will have a $2 Tuesday. And if it's something you're interested, I would say get it, try it, and see what you think. I personally 
am starting to really like their flavors. I, like I said, just had to adjust my palette from things that there's probably more additives in that I'm used to, and going to this is so much healthier. So I'm very pleased with the line of them so far. So to get to the good stuff, um, I told you guys last time that I was recovering from uh, the coronavirus, so it has been about 90 days and I feel a lot, lot better. Thank you for all your uh, prayers and everything that you sent out uh, for us and our family. All of us are healthy, fine, and we are doing good, so that is awesome. School is in play, that is also awesome. So um, what I did is I wanted to show you, this is breakfast. I have gotten new trays. I traded out all my old trays and I bought new trays. I like these better. Um, some of them have different uh, little holders in them and stuff. So I kind of like that better. But for this one, I just put five strips of bacon in and I have five eggs that I've cooked up. We also have the keto bread. We keep it over here and so um, we could eat, simply warm up a, or toast a piece of keto bread, throw this on there. If you want some spice, throw it on there as well and have a quick little breakfast that's already ready to go for you. The other thing that I have is I have made a salad and this salad is uh, probably big enough for two meals or us to share. But I have some carrots that I have chopped up in here. And I also have some zucchini that I sliced up in here as well. And some, just a lettuce that I have put in here. And this is the romaine lettuce. I put some sunflower seeds. And the chicken that I made today, I made in my Instapot. Took me 20 minutes. And that's what I use the everything seasoning on from Flavor God. I use that. So, in the chicken and I also put uh, a strip of bacon in here so it's a bacon and chicken salad this dressing in here is our favorite right now it's a sesame uh, dressing you can use it um, on your as a rub too if you'd like um, when you're grilling or cooking something so that is good I have showed you guys that before First time I smoked a, a two and a half pound roast on the smoker and then I thinly sliced each piece up and as you can see, they turned out amazing. They taste good. Could throw it on a salad. Um, I can take a couple of these in a Ziploc and eat them for lunch. Um, these things are so much easier and healthier to cook on your own. Um, my internal temp, I cooked it to, was 140. I know some people cook it at 135 for a rare, and um, I cook mine at 140, and then I let it rest for about 10 minutes. And so um, it kind of goes up to more of a medium rare. That's where we like our meat. But if you want to cook it a little longer, uh, the internal, just don't let it go past 145. It usually dries out after it goes past uh, or even 150 it gets pretty dry so I didn't want that to get dry so I stopped it and then I let it rest and I bought a thing of salami and a block of cheese and I just cut them all up and I put them in here they're easy grab and go uh, snacks or a quick lunch sometimes I'll just eat a few slices of meat and some cheese for lunch, uh, just something to get me by the middle of the day. Then I also have some soup that I made and I made it, this is a curry soup. So I have the recipe that I made this from and I used our morel mushrooms in it, it so good. And I was so impressed with how this turned out. It tastes like it's from the restaurant. And then this is what I was saying, these new containers have the little sides. So I put some almonds over here for snack. Um, usually we'll eat some almonds uh, after breakfast, maybe around 10 o'clock in the morning. So I always add in like a little snack in that side tray. So that's always nice to have. 
The other thing I made was some coleslaw. I wanted to eat this tonight for dinner with our show you, bratwurst and my sweet potatoes. So I just, these are called pan bratwurst. So you just throw them on a pan and then you dice up your sweet potato and some sweet onion and you shake up the potato and the onion with some uh, seasonings and then you put it in your pan, toss it in your pan all over your bratwurst that you already have laid out. And um, my bratwurst were not pre-cooked. And I put them in the pan and I cooked them on 425 for about 45 minutes. And I did stir them up in the middle of that cooking session. So that will probably be dinner tonight and we'll have some leftovers. So that's always good. This coleslaw I just made with some mayonnaise and I uh, used some regular white vinegar and I also used some apple cider vinegar too. I diced up my own carrots and it tastes phenomenal. And of course the kids, they love these little, uh, little weenies in barbecue sauce. So I threw them in a pan and I threw some uh, barbecue sauce on, sugar free. And these are delicious. They're good to have for a little side snack or something like that. But the kids love to eat them. So I, I cooked those up today. They were fun, little Sunday treat. And one of my favorite things I made today, I'm gonna take one apart and show you, is their wrap. It's a chicken bacon wrap, and I did add some spice and take out the toothpick. These are the low carb uh, tortillas that I like to use. But as you can see, I just took a piece of romaine lettuce and I laid it on top of the tortilla I put some um, tapatio sauce and a little bit of the Skinny Girl Ranch sauce on it. And then I broke up a piece of bacon and I crumbled it on there. And then I threw my chicken on there as well. And so out of everything that I've made today with the chicken, I only used one chicken breast. So, you know, I always buy those like three or five pound bags of uh, chicken breasts and you don't need to use too many of them because it can go a long ways. And so I made those. Uh, those are gonna be delicious, I think. So that is what we have on the menu. I was thinking I didn't grab any fruit. Um, we have tons of fruit over there in the fruit basket. And I have also been drinking uh, my Kayani little mix in the morning. It's called Sunrise. And so if you're interested in that at all, uh, feel free to message me and I can tell you who I have been ordering my Kayani products from. And I absolutely love the sunrise and I'm going to get the sunrise and the sunset next month. And uh, I think that those are amazing products that has fruit, all your fruits and your vegetables natural. So you just comes in a little packet, you just drink it in the morning. And I definitely, I've used it now for a month and I really am sold on the sunrise. I'm gonna start the sunrise and I'm gonna grab the sunset and see how I like both of those. So if you're interested in that product, let me know and I will have you get in touch with somebody who sells them. Other than that, everybody have a great Sunday and a great week and stay healthy, eat good foods, they're good for you and have fun cooking them. I learned, you can learn too. Bye.